Skinny rice is the subject of today's Food for Thought. My name is Jodie Bunting. This is one of our daily <laughs> health tips to help you lose weight. And today I'm going to be chatting about this. Now it's brand new in Home Bargains. There's two varieties. There is skinny rice, skinny noodles. And on the back it also says there's something called skinny spaghetti. But I actually haven't seen that at any Home Bargains. So... If you see skinny spaghetti, uh, any home bargains, please do let me know. Now, what is the big deal about this? First of all, I've made video, many videos before about this, and it's basically a plant-based noodle called konjac noodles. So it's made out of a konjac plant. I think it's Japanese or Chinese. Um, and the most amazing thing about it, not in a good way, the most outrageous thing about this is it used to be like five quid. Holland and Barrett used to sell it. And then slowly, slowly, different companies have kind of jumped on the bandwagon. And the cheapest I've ever seen it is 150. Now, thanks to our friends at Home Bargains, this, ladies and gentlemen, is 99p. Yes, 99p. You can have 14 calories worth of noodles or 14 calories worth of rice. Now, rice is not so bad because... You know, generally rice, there's, although there's a lot of carbs in it, uh, there's nothing bad. But noodles are quite processed. So the good thing about the konjac plant is that's all that's in it. Um, some people don't like it. It tastes a bit like water, but it's really low in calories. And it's a great quick alternative opposed to making your own um, noodles or rice out of vegetables. Uh, I prefer it to cauliflower rice. I know some of you like cauliflower rice. This doesn't really taste of anything. It tastes a little bit like chewy water. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to describe it. But that's what I think. I don't think it does taste of anything. But it gives you that texture. And especially when you put it with things, spices and stuff, it absorbs it up and tastes great. Um, now, the one thing you do need to do is make sure you cook it right. Now, it's not quite cooking it right where people make the mistake, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So, when you open your packet, you will discover another packet inside. Um, and to be honest, all these things that I've ever bought of this konjac plant, it all seems to be the same thing. So, I feel like these bags come from China and then people buy them at the port or something and put them in the extra packaging. Um, so what you have to do before you cook this is to wash it, okay? Now, actually you wouldn't wash normal rice, so it's not too different. The reason is the plant that they use to make it has a foul stench. I repeat, oh, it's not too bad this one, but sometimes it does have a really foul stench. So it's really important that you wash it under cold running water. Now, for the purposes of the video, what I'm doing is just putting it in a sieve. I want every single one out. Okay, that's not working very well, is it? Let's just shake it. I'm trying not to get it all over the floor. Okay, so there we have we just pour a bit of water out. I don't want to pour, pour water over you. And here we have, oh, whoops. Okay, and here we have our 14 calorie rice. And as I said, it's really important that you just wash it in some water. I'm showing you how to wash it in a bowl, but ideally we're gonna turn around and wash it in the tap. So again, be careful, make sure you don't wash all your 14 calorie rice away. So just, it says on the packet one to two minutes to get rid of the smell. Uh, I would do it just, I wouldn't even do it that much. And then, I'm just drying off my cognac rice, cognac, kojak rice. And then, all I do is just plonk it in the middle of my plate. So it's just a pile of rice. It does say on the packet, by the way, two servings here, but because it's only 14 calories, I've got 28 calories that I can have that whole plate of rice. And I'm just gonna bang that in the microwave for one minute. If you were doing a stir fry, 
if you're doing something, a dish that has actually got rice in it, then you could obviously just warm it up in the dish. So you are literally warming up, you're not actually having to cook it because it's just made of plant. The other good thing about it, great source of fiber, no artificial flavorings, no added preservatives. As I said, it's just a one ingredient dish. And the most amazing thing is zero carbs, zero fat, zero sugar, low calorie. It's vegan also, it's just so, it's just so versatile as well. Um, and you will see when it comes out exactly uh, what it is going to be like. And what I've done, I've got a little bit of chicken vegetable curry here, uh, which I have burnt slightly, so forgive my burntness of the curry, my own fault. And then what we're going to do, here's my hot bed of rice, voila, you can see that's steaming. Now as I said, you could stir fry that in with that, um, but most conveniently, Whatever you're having, whether you're having salmon or chickpea curry or whatever you're having, it's just a great thing to have on the side for literally just 14 calories. And there we are. That is my cognac rice, cognac rice with my curry. But as I said, apologies, the curry. What should I show you? I'm not sure I should show you close up, but don't look at the curry, look at the rice. I'm gonna enjoy that now.